Hello, internet peoples of the internet. It's me, Man05, and I keep trying to zoom in on my spaceship, but that doesn't work because then you just go to the solar system that you're in. Uh, it's me, Man05, and I'm here with yet another episode of Spore. I don't really have a goal for this episode of Spore. I guess I think it's just make a lot of money and work my way towards the center of the galaxy. Okay, so I don't know who these people here are. Who are you, Samanese? You sound interesting. Ah, another un undocumented species. Wonderful. Do give us your information. I, I come in peace. We hope for productive exchange of ins in inform information. Hello. You are making the weirdest sounds on this planet. I don't. Ew, gross. Go away. I don't like you. I mean, they have blue spice. I mean, do you guys happen to have a mission for me? So I can purchase this system. I want to wait until I have at least three million to try and do that. But hey, do you have any missions? Okay, yeah, okay. Red, red spice. I need some red spice from Brebenox. Where is that Brebenox? Hey, Brebenox. You guys have any spice for me? There we go. Plus twenty spice. I'll sell. I'll sell you this if you if you need. Here you go. You made short work of that mission, buddy. We can't thank you enough. Honestly, this red spice is sure going to come in handy. For your efforts, please accept 50,000 spore bucks. You have been a super duper help, buddy. Thanks. Really mean it. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for the... That's some money. Asterisk. Okay. And it only took one. For 50,000 spore bucks. They took one. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Well, would anyone else like some spice for some really high prices? You guys already have spi red spice. I'm not sure that you'll take this for a whole lot. Yeah, you're, you're not going to take it for a whole lot because they already have spice on their planet. Let's see. You have red spice, so I don't want to talk to you. Gosh, my middle finger really hates when I scroll as much as I have to do in sport. Because I, I broke my middle finger about a year ago, I guess, now. And it's... My middle finger is just... Doesn't like scrolling a whole lot. You are you don't really want that red spice either. Okay. Does anyone here want red spice for a whole bunch of money? Please? It's always 281. Can you please just accept it for like 50,000 like those other guys did? <laughs> They already have red spice. They have red spice in their system. Not sure. Let's see. Yes, thank you. Boom. There we go. Thank you. Bye. Merchant 2. Okay, so... Okay, so I've collected, I think, all the spice that all my systems have. So, uh... Recharge. Do you have any missions? I guess there's not any, they don't have any missions for me. Okay, so. These guys really liked the red spice. Not those guys, the, over here. Hello, I have more red spice for you since you pay so much for it. If I just give you, there we go. We're up to two million spore bucks now. So now if I go, Somewhere that they have red spice, and hopefully I can sell the yellow spice for quite a bit. Thank you. 8,000. Alright, I'll, I'll do that. Boom. Also, I'll take these colony and credit packs. Thank you very much. So that way I can uh, colonize more planets. I want to start coming out this way. So, what's here at Alicor? Cotterot? We have Cotterot, and it has purple spice, which is really rare and really valuable, 
but unfortunately it is T0 and not that easy to terraform. So I think we'll leave this planet to be for now. Also has a lot of spice geysers as well. I might colonize that later once I have better ter terraforming technology. And what the heck? I touched my face and there's just blood coming out of my face. I have no idea whatever happened to my face, but okay. You have you have green spice. That's another rare one. It's not as rare as purple spice, but let's see. No. No. This one's already colonized. But you know what? Let's see. They have some very valuable spice on a planet that is already T1 that I can colonize. So I'm just gonna go blow them up and take their planet. Since it's very valuable. Sorry guys, your system is just too valuable. I have to kill you all and take it. <laughs> also, you don't have spacefaring technology yet, so you can't like run away and evacuate or anything. So, sorry, I guess you're at my mercy. T3 as Dunus 2 with the Epitvis. This, this is, that was a creature I made. It's basically Greek for like aggressive or something like that. So. Oh, there we go. They are all dead. I don't know about repairing and recharging here. I might have to, but I don't really want to. Oh boy, okay. So that's gonna be just our one colony right there for now. I'm gonna put another colony on this other planet over here. Sean too. Man, but I am so close to dead right now. That was That was actually a close call. The only thing that saved me was my superior technology and and luck. Sean too. What happened to the first Sean? Okay, so here we're just missing we're just missing uh, carnivores, so I can get that. And I can dump another colony in credit pack here. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and they want spice for a whole lot! And red spice, which is amazing! Dude, this is like my favorite system right here. These are- they're, these are gonna make me rich, like... Seriously, dude. Oops, I did not want to click that. That was not what I meant to click. So these guys make 48 purple spice an hour. And these guys make... I have no idea how much an hour, but probably a lot. These make... 120 an hour, so for every hour I spend playing Spore, these guys make 120 spice. And, you know what, I feel like increasing that. I'm gonna come over here, find some really amazing place. Right, right, right here. There we go. And there we have it. We have yet another planet on our colony. Or another colony on our planet. There we go. We have... I don't know what the population is. What is the population? What's the population of the town? <laughs> I just want to know the population. The population is 120. It's the population over here. The population is 90 there. Okay. I'd say, all in all, we're doing pretty good. We, we've captured probably the most valuable system I will ever capture in this entire series. And, purple spice! Look at that! Dude, I can almost make a living just off of this system alone. Thank you for saving me. Here, have some 
Yellow spice. <laughs> They'll even buy their own spice for super expensive. Dude. And if I go over to here where they're not mining the purple spice, let's see. Here, I would probably make a lot. If I were to come over here to one of my allies, let's say, yeah, over here. I could say, hey, do you want my purple spice? There we go. Man, that is like the best system that I have ever captured in the history of spore, my spore playing game stuff. More spice, more spice, more spice please. Give me more spice. I'd like more spice please. Here, I'll, I'll even go place a third colony on this one city. Let's see, there's, there's a whole bunch of spice right over here. So we place it there. Colonist three. There we go. I got the Just a Bomb Mega Pulse Shield, Mega Auto Blaster, and Anti Matter Missile. Yes! I'm going up in the world! Or the galaxy! Let's see. Will you, will you sell me the Just a Bomb? I'd like a Just a Bomb. Yes, there we go. The Just a Bomb. I'm under a million now, but guess what? If I just fly the. <laughs> To this planet right over here, I could probably be back over a million in no time. See what? Is, wait, 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 wait. This, they have more spice for me. Here we go. Come right back over here. Purple spice. Come over down here. <laughs> Boom. Now that I can take this purple spice that they gave me and just go straight up over to these guys. Over here. I know these guys bought the purple spice for a lot, so how many how much will these guys buy the purple spice for? Because they might not even have bought it for a lot. Yeah, see? Boom. Our strategists are nervous. They've heard some rumors about the Grox, and they're concerned that we might be headed for a confrontation. They're probably right. You've done a great job of expanding our empire, but if it comes to an interstellar fight with the Grox, we're just not ready. We don't have the economy to support it, and we don't have the military force to fight it. We need to make some allies. Okay, so I need to make one more alliance. Well, these guys over here, uh, I mean, they're okay, I guess. Oh, wait. That's us? Oh no, it's not us, it's uh, the same species, never mind. Uh, hello. We think we've seen the Renown before. Or maybe it was someone else equally bland. Okay, fine, tell me what you really think. <laughs> Please accept our gift. Okay, now... Hello. Trade route? Okay, trade route. Uh, an alliance? Pa ha ha ha! You wanna make an alliance? Pa ha ha ha! Oh, you serious? Well, let's see how serious you really are. Okay. Oh. Top priority emergency distress signal from Colonel Farkas. He's pitting on a rock concert in the park, and his lead singer is... Huh? Wait a section. This isn't an emergency. How many times do I have to tell Farkas not to call me on my hotline? Uh, could you do a favor and take care of this? Yeah, count me in. <laughs> Colonel Farkas can give you all the details when you beam down. You can't miss him. Just look for a guy with a top hat, a bow tie, and four arms. Okay, understood. Bye. <laughs> okay, so... We're gonna ally with these guys, and it's gonna be great. And, uh, maybe I can hate them after that. Because, you know, I don't really want any allies. Okay, here we go.